look at my background. What a fantastic day today. And we plan to go to Silver Falls near Mount Wellington, near Fauntree. And that will be a fascinating, beautiful walk. We always enjoy this view from anywhere. We walk around our house to the city and this is an iconic thing and it always inspires why we live in Hobart. So we came to Fauntry Tavern. It's actually on Mount Wellington on the way to the summit. And uh, there is a Silver Falls, as I mentioned. And in my background, this is a massive water pipe. And that's the collection of the rainwater going to the Hobart city. And uh, this is the source where we get our drinking water and we'll be walking to the Silver Falls. It's about two kilometer walk and it will be fantastic because on Mount Wellington, the setup is like a rainforest and walking through this road, we have done this before. And uh, so it will be a very unique way of uh, looking at uh, the sceneries and uh, walking on the Mount Wellington and the waterfalls will be spectacular, I believe. And then later on, we'll have some lunch at Fauntry Tavern. So that's the plan. Hope you like this video. That's the way to the Silver Falls. And look at the vegetation on Mount Wellington. Mostly eucalyptus. There are a lot of people today because it's uh, Easter Friday and uh, it's a public holiday. And a lot of people came out for this special walk. Look at this, this is a pipeline track. Pipeline because uh, Mount Wellington is a big collector of rainwater and in Hobart we get fresh drinking water out of that. Welcome to Farm Tree and on Mount Wellington. And this is basically the Silver Falls Loop and we're going to do this Silver Falls Loop. So basically we are here at this Farm Tree Tavern We'll be walking through this pipeline track up to these Silver Falls. Look at this walking path and this is completely covered by these big trees and it's under shadow. Very, it's very sunny today but because of this cover on this walkway, it's pretty cool comparatively. Fauntry Tavern to the Silver Falls. It's a very easy walking track. And actually I was reading there is a wheelchair access. So basically if you have wheelchair and you want to come for this pipeline track experience, you can do so. Fascinating, isn't it? It will be a relaxing walk. So please enjoy this walking track while we record and share with you guys. Look at these trees, how tall they are. Magnificent. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Look at how dense the forest is on Mount Wellington. Even almost very sunny day, the sunlight is not coming through properly. We always enjoy this uh, walking track. It's not too difficult, but it is so pretty. I mean, it's very close and it takes like, even if you come by bus, it takes from Hobart city about 10 minutes 15 minutes and this walk is most enjoyable the canopy cover and it's very cool even on a very hot day and a lot of people are walking with us today as well so it's really enjoyable
look at the root system how strong they're holding the rocks and the soil on Mount Wellington we can already hear the waterfalls look at this fallen tree fascinating isn't it it's broken down and then farms grown up on these fallen tree it's a very relaxing nature walk today sometimes on our channel we try to create some variations and uh, nature walk and relaxing video is going to be a prominent feature on our channel because we love doing that and we love sharing that hope there will be some viewers who will enjoy that have you noticed that uh, after that bridge we have a completely different scenarios because it's nearer to the water it's much greener all big farm trees are around yeah, lots, of farms are lots of farms and yeah these are all naturally grown i mean there is no gardening here and it's pretty isn't it it's just fascinating completely changed environment now because it's near to the water such a beautiful farm trees we have been to many botanical gardens across australia particularly in brisbane mount kutta botanical garden and in hobart we had farm house but this is a natural farm house so many varieties and looks stunning spectacular look at this tree must be hundreds of years old and now you can see some instruments this is probably one of those valves of this pipeline track collecting rain waters and supplying drinking waters to Hobart city look at these pipelines there are gigantic pipes and it's a huge pipeline network here collecting rain water from the mountain and supplying and that's why we have one of the best water in the world in my background this is a massive water pipe and that's the collection of the rain water going to the Hobart city and uh, this is the source where we get our drinking water and that's why in Tasmania we have one of the purest and most tasteful water in the world fantastic drinking water we get it from tap water and when you have something so easily you don't get to feel the value behind it but it is a lot of work and it is extraordinary we are privileged to have one of the finest best water in the world Orunima is fascinated with these farm trees taking some photos and look at the bush behind us it's just extraordinary and all this pipe network passing through and on our head you see there is a beautiful historic information board and it's written here that pipeline track is integral to the continuing history of Hobart's mountain water supply started in 1861 so it's a long history and still an integral part of our metropolitan water supply that's fascinating isn't it you have to come to this source if you're visiting Hobart or you live in Hobart because this is where you get your drinking water look at this site massive farm trees this is the way we came out from this bushwalk now we are going to the waterfall it's just 10 minutes walk from this point about 460 meter uh, I mean it's a very sunny day extremely sunny day today actually because we don't have any cloud and so it is predicted that it will be 22 degree but in this canopy we're having like 10 degree less than the day temperature 
it will be like 10 degree or 12 degree it's feel very cool now we started to get the stream and it's close by as you can see this water is flowing down the stream and if you follow this path about 400 meter we will get to see the silver falls there are a few steps and cascades listen to the sound of these streams so relaxing some botanical gardens create these downstreams to create a rainforest environment but here in Tasmania on this Mount Wellington setup on this pipeline track we have this naturally so beautiful isn't it it's a little bit of uh, uphill but not too difficult look at this fallen tree this is not so big but it looks always spectacular isn't it fallen tree will be gray because it is dyed but then new trees or plants and the ferns and moss grew over that fallen tree and it's always a fascinating sight in Tasmanian wilderness especially rainforest like setups the last stretch of probably 200 meter it's a bit uphill and it's not too difficult it's easy but if you have walking difficulty or bad knees you might want to do it a bit slowly but ultimately it will be a fascinating extraordinary site to visit and very easily accessible sometimes you do a lot of tours expensive tours in Tasmania and this is virtually a free tour that you can do you can take a public bus come to farm tree and then walk for 20 25 minutes each way and get to see these extraordinary waterfalls and also very historic one because you are drinking this water while you are in Hobart we are nearing to the waterfall That's the little walkway I mentioned and I'll go up and have a different look and that's the silver waterfalls. It's hidden and it's small, very spectacular. I always find it very fascinating. It has got a mystical feeling about it. And that's the way we can. So this is our Silver Falls on Mount Wellington and it's a fantastic spot you must visit if you're visiting Hobart and this is a hidden one but if you come here and this is what you can get and it's a very historic one because this is where our drinking water in Hobart gets collected so let's walk on this path and uh, we should be able to see it much better way The sound is fascinating, isn't it? It's a small waterfall, of course. There's a little bit of stairs and uh, we just go only very few, maybe 10 steps and then we will get to see the actual pipe network. It's obviously beyond this point is no entry, but I'm always interested to see how the water gets collected. Look at this, this is how the rainwater gets collected here and then obviously it will be purified and uh, cleaned before we get in our home and we drink it and uh, water in Tasmania is always extraordinary, very delicious. Look at the network here, drinking water catchment area, how wonderful. From the waterfall we are collecting rainwater and then that directly going to the Hobart city. And that's the waterfalls. So that was a very nice little interesting bush walk. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this walk. 
And now in this next part, we are going back to the farm tree tavern and we'll have our lunch. You have to be careful while going down because there are some stones on the road and uh, it could be a bit slippery. It is enjoyable and when you are going for bush walk, you always have to be a bit careful anyway. Look at the stream and the water is so clean it and you can look at the bottom and you can find that all the leaves are there. It's it's crystal clear, so pretty. So we finished our walk and that was the route. Look at this area. This is the farm tree park and there is a lot of barbecuing and picnic spots and areas that you can do. There are hot plates and you can buy your sausages and other stuff and you can do barbecue here. And that's basically the farm tree tavern where we'll have a little bit of lunch. So from that direction where we went to the Silver Falls, the pipeline network came this way. And this is probably one of the junctions where they might have a pumping station which pumps or maybe um, add chlorines to the water and before they pump to the city the water is flowing and we can hear the sound of the stream so we came to this palm tree tavern and we ordered a little bit of lunch and look at this carrot cake so this is going to be our lunch and we have a bowl of chips which is coming soon so we got our bowl of chips and this carrot cake that's our lunch after a beautiful walk to the silver falls i just came this side there is another side to the farm tree community center and from here you have a little bit of better view of the bush the mount wellington is covered by a thick bush very dense forest and all these roads to the summit and all these localities developed over probably last 150 years or so. If you look at the bush at front and you will see that the pinnacle there is a tower that's basically the Mount Wellington summit where you can go by driving or take a bus tour and that's the summit of Mount Wellington. So I would say we're halfway through to the Mount Wellington summit here at Farm Tree. Thank you very much for watching our travel videos on our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video. To feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine.